Good morning, viewers. You are welcome to today's Daily Dynamite, the Youth Devotional Manual, Church of Nigeria. Today, 14th of July, 2023. Let us pray. And so, gracious Father, we thank you for today. Thank you for giving us the privilege to be alive in the land of the living. Thank you because our leg can carry us. Father, thank you because of the strength you gave us. Lord, we ask, as we want to share in your word, we pray that your spirit will come and breathe on your word. Lord, we pray that our hearers and our viewers will be impacted by your word. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Our topic is Living Ready, Part 1. Living Ready, Part 1. Our text is Luke chapter 17, from verse 20 to 29. Once, on being asked by the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God will come, Jesus replied, The coming of the kingdom of God is not something that can be observed, nor will people say, Here it is, or there it is, because the kingdom of God is in your midst. Then he said to his disciples, I is coming when you long to see one of, these, of the days of the Son of Man, that you will not it. People will tell you, there he is, or here he is. Do not go running off at them. For the Son of Man is in this day, in his day, will come be like the sun, which flashes and lights up the sky from one end to another. But first, you must suffer many things by this generation. John as it was in the days of Noah, so also will it be in the days of the Son of Man. For we are eating, drinking, marrying, and being given a marriage to the day Noah entered the ark, then the flood came and destroyed the all. It was in them, it was the same in the days of Lot. People were eating and drinking, buying and selling. Planting and building, but the day Lot left Sodom, fire saw a call for rain down from heaven and destroyed them. Brethren, our anchor verse is verse 27. As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be also in the days of Son of Man. They ate, they drank, until Noah entered the ark. And the flood destroyed them all. Jesus begins by addressing the Pharisees, who were curious about the coming of the kingdom. He tells them that the kingdom of God does not come with observable signs. It is not something that can be seen and measured in a physical sense. Instead, Jesus says, The kingdom of God is in your midst. Luke 17, verse 21. Jesus is making a profound statement here. He's saying that the kingdom of God is not merely a future event or a far-off reality. It is present here and now in the midst of his ministry. And it is available to all who believe in him. Jesus himself is the embodiment of the kingdom. And through his life, death and resurrection he brings god's reign and rule into the world but why the kingdom of god is already among us jesus goes on to teach about his future consumption consummation he compares the kingdom of god to the days of noah and lot in those days lot people were, in those days of noah people were eating drinking dining enjoying themselves. But Noah was busy doing what God called him to do. Noah is a righteous man. He found favor before God. God called him 
build an ark. The sins of the people on earth has come up to me. They have messed the whole thing up. They have messed the world in which he created. Well, that was when God said that he regretted creating men. People were abusing, doing all sorts of things, all manner of things. As it was in, the day, in today's, people were doing things, even Christians, doing things the way they think, the way they, 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 they believe is the best. People were just busy showing off even their wealth. People were busy doing all manner of things, all sorts of things. People were busy getting ready for things which are not eternal. Leaving behind things which are eternal. Even so many youths today, they are enjoying their youthful age, their time now, without remembering there is a time when the Son of Man will come. And today's devotion was telling us, or remind us, that a day will come when the rapture will come, when Jesus will come. Because at his words in the days of Noah, when people were behaving, living their lives, living their lives the way they want, keeping friends, drinking, even masquerading, because these days, I see how adultery, idolatry, has engulfed the life of youths, has taken over even in the church, where you see youths, young men, vibrant young men, going around, clapping for masquerade, following masquerade at a distant place. When you, come, when you call them to come to church, to do something for God inside the church, or keep their focus on God, they will not do that, because they have forgotten a day is coming to account for what they have done on earth. Brethren, today we are charging us that we need to live ready. Noah, on the other hand, Noah, during his time, when the time comes, heavens open, rain started falling. God opened the earth and water started gushing out of the earth, or out of the, out of the land, earth, and the, the flood overtook the whole earth that everyone, even those who thought that they, when, they, when they went to the mountain even at the toppest place of the mountain, the water covers it. You know, during the time of Sodom and Gomorrah when Lot was there they were misbehaving, doing all sorts of things, doing, living their life, engaging in, sort of, in all sorts of immoralities as it was today. Many youths have engaged and engulfed themselves in all sorts of immoralities which the reason why God destroyed uh, 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 Sodom and Gomorrah. God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah because of lesbianism, uh, uh, homosexuality, bestiality, and all sorts of immorality. Even today, men, young men, you see young men, a full-grown young man, lusting after his fellow man. You see a full-grown lady, lusting after his fellow lady. These are the things that are happening today. And people have forgotten that, that there is a time of accountability. That end is coming. That Jesus is coming soon. And when we talk about living ready, we talk about people getting ready. People should get ready because the time of the coming of the Son of Man is now. When the angel went to, went to Sodom and Gomorrah, he asked to Noah, Get your people, get everybody, get all your relatives. Leave this town because tomorrow this town will be destroyed. Even as they were preparing, no, I didn't even understand the message. Even as they were preparing, delaying, the angel took them, forced them out of the city. Many of us, we are just taking, we are in the church playing religious. Many of us are in the church playing religious doing all manner of things. They don't know the reason, the urgency of the call because the call is urgent. We need to live ready. We need to live as if Jesus is coming today. We need to live our life as if that Jesus is here, present with us, that the trumpet will sound now, 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 now. Brethren, let me remind us that our life is in our hands. We have to make our choice. The choice is yours. It's, it's ours to make. And the, the life we live today 
determines what will happen to us tomorrow. Brethren, I urge us to live our life in readiness, waiting for the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. When Noah was telling the people of Israel, because Jesus says, as it was in the days of Noah, when Noah was telling them that this will happen, they don't believe them. They don't believe him. People were even mocking him, asking, what is this old man doing? What is he doing? They were mocking him. They don't know that a time of such calamity will meet them. They don't know that a time of such doom will meet them. I urge you today, a time will come when we will meet such doom. A time will come when we will meet such calamity. I urge you today, live ready. Live ready. Live your right, life in righteousness. Live your life in prayerness, in, pre in preparedness that Jesus is coming. Our, 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 our commentary today says, the second coming of our Lord Jesus is sure for every passing day. It draws us closer down when we first believe. Today, many treat rapture with so much levity as though it won't come to pass. The word of God is sure and will never pass away because it has started. Many of us live our life as though there is no second coming of the master. The love of many has gone cold and the zeal and passion we had when we first believed almost died. I want to charge you, are you among people who has lost their faith? Are you among those who has lost their faith because of maybe you have been disappointed or you have been molested or have been harassed and is believe or you, something that's supposed to be yours was denied for you and it has made your love for God to wash cold? I want to challenge you that you have to go back to Christ. He said, master, the master will certainly come, though we don't know the time. As believers, we must live as though he will come now. I charge you to live as though he will come now. From anchor scripture, we see how men went about their daily business as every other day, unknown to them that the day of the Lord, while they lived as they wished, Noah was preparing. Beloved, if you are informed that the master will come today, that's the challenge. What preparation will you put in place? Will there be adjustment in your character and amendment in your life? If there will be any adjustment, I urge you to better do it now. Do it now because the time is now. The day of grace is now. Number, are you rapturable? Or will you, like, will you be like the ten virgins? looking for oil, or like Noah, who was prepared. I urge you, don't be taken on our ways. Live ready. Food for thought. Watch, for you do not know what hour the Lord is coming. Let us pray. Say after me, Lord, I receive the grace to live ready and be rapturable in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for speaking to us. Thank you for granting us grace to live in line that a day is coming. And to live with that consciousness that a day is coming when Jesus will appear. Lord, help us to live ready. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I hope you are blessed by the word. Join us tomorrow on the Daily Dynamite.